Hello again for another bit of Turnip 28. I've pretty much finished my first army, so I'm moving on to the second one, and consulting the food pyramid, I discovered that mushrooms are the exact opposite of turnips. So, creating a mushroom themed leader for the second army. Starting off, I went back to the French infantry box from Victrix and built up a regular officer. I then clipped off the integrated base, took a pair of plies, and broke both of his ankles. The idea is to have this guy's head transformed into a giant mushroomy squid monster, and the rest of his body is just dangling below it. So taking a few pairs of arms, and just building him up like a regular person for now. Next up, I grabbed an armature wire and started creating the shape of the squid, beginning with several lengths of wire for the legs. Then taking each piece of wire and bending it into a nice shape. To join the legs together, I used the base as a guideline and then used hot glue to connect the wires together at the top. This is about the right height, once you factor in the large growth above it. Grabbing some super glue, I then connected it to the base. For the bulk of the form, taking some mid-grade milliput and mixing it together. So this is the yellow stuff that's a bit coarser and not so good for details, as it gets quite crumbly. But by using a wet tool, you can still push it around and get some nice seams. Taking different balls of the putty and just sticking it on top of each other. Then using a small piece underneath with a tool to cover up the seam in the bottom. While still malleable, I push a slight indentation of the figure in, so it would have a bit more area to grab it when I glued it in, which I did when it was fully dry. Taking some higher grade milliput of the white variety, I then mixed it together and formed some kind of small crude sheets, which I then used to layer over the existing form, so I could push some more texture and detailing into it. Taking a few sculpting tools with different shaped ends, I went around and started poking various bits of detail into it, to get some kind of lines around the edges of the bulk shapes, as well as some kind of furrows and holes as well. Because it's a kind of horrible fungi mass, you can really just kind of add any shape and texture you want, and it'll look about right. Once I was happy with the bulk, I let that dry entirely, before moving on to the legs and covering them with putty as well. This is where it's a lot easier to let a section be dry entirely, so you can then use it as a handhold, and you don't risk losing any of the detail you put on already. To make one of the arms covered with smaller mushrooms, I took small balls of the milliput and pushed it on. Then where two of the arms were a bit too kind of finicky to get the putty on, 
took some Vallejo Earth Texture Paste and applied that over the wires instead. So they're a bit skinnier, but maybe they're kind of a bit more of a prehensile, kind of grabby arms. The base got a coating of the Earth Texture Paste as well, with a few small rocks to add some detail. To prep the mini for painting, I took some Vallejo Black Surface Primer and applied it using a brush. With the paint scheme, I layered up some dark browns and greens, working my way up to a beige colour, while painting his uniform in a very typical Napoleonic style, with a blue and red jacket with light coloured undergarments. Not being too precise with any of this, because it'll be covered with a layer of mud and grime later. And the mushroom mass will be mostly earthy tones anyway. But the fancy uniform and the bright colours should be a nice bit of contrast compared to the rest of the brownness. The paints I'm using for this are from AK Interactive, and using a mixture of brushes, from ones with an intact tip to ones that are a bit knackered. On the top of the mushroom, I used a few watery, thin coats of paint, so it all blend together, and you get a bit of transparency where you get the green and the browns all kind of merged together. Most of the detail here comes from the sculpted texture we did earlier with the miller putt. So going in with a few dry brushy type motions, just to pull up the edges and make them pop. Here is where I think maybe painting the bottom mushrooms brown, Maybe not the best choice, because it does look a bit like something else. But that's also kind of turned at 28, so let's run with it. Gotta make sure you do the buttons on the sleeves, and any of the tiny details. Then once it's nice and bright, you can go in with a layer of brown and apply a nice amount of dirt and mud over the midi. Finally, going in with a watered down tenebus grey and using it as a glaze over the mini. For the base, keeping it to a very simple colour scheme, going for a dark brown with a dry brush of light brown over the top. Then mixing together some matte Mod Podge and some clump foliage to make a slimy paste. Applying that on top of the base as well. Then darkening this down with some watered down black paint. And some light brown over the top as well. With the base dry, he's now complete and ready to lead his mushroomy army into battle. So yeah, big mushroomy man, suspended above the ground. For some turn at 28. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks so much for watching, I hope to catch you next time.